you're so open about your incarcerations. Um, what are your, you obviously you've got mum and dad. What are, what is your background? And what do they think about what you've, how you've led your life in your early years? My background. So four par- four grandparents, four different nationalities, all born in their places. Oh, really? Uh, so one's uh, my granddad, Irish. My grand my grandmother born in Lille in France. My other grandmother born in Rotterdam in the Netherlands. And my other grandfather born in Spain. Irish, Spanish, French, Dutch. So we're European, West Europe. And but they're all totally different cultures. Totally different. Yeah, yeah. So like I'm legitimately, yeah, meet each one of my grandparents and they full are that culture. You know what I mean? Like they sp- yeah. Um and I don't know, like it wasn't a big thing to my family because my family, I'm, I'm not saying that I come from some like crazy gangster family, you know what I mean? Not like that. But they were crooks and they were like scallywag people, you know what I mean? It was not, when they were kids, they were stealing cars and there's drug addicts in my family and this and that. So it's nothing for me to start crime and do crime. Yeah. So they didn't bother them, so to speak, you know? And not, not too much. Like, to be honest, like, the only time my mum ever had a cry was when she'd come into the cop shop and she, I felt like she was faking it for the cops. <laughs> yeah, it's like, otherwise, like, I'll park hotties in the street, stolen cars, like, when I was, like, 14. She wouldn't say nothing. Like, you know what I mean? Come home with bundles, this and that. And then, like, but if I get arrested, she's at the cop shop crying, like, what's happened to you? Why are you like this? I'm looking at her like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? I was in this car last night at home. I parked it in your parking spot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but she puts the show on. And the grandparents, are they living here or, yeah, uh, or look, were they living here? Uh, a couple of them are dead, but my grandma lives out Western Sydney and my grandfather lives around the Lichu area. Yeah. Um, I've never heard an opinion from them. Yeah. And uh, do any of them influence, any one of them influence you more than the other? Not at all. Do you like you were close to anyone, like really close? Uh, the closest I am is to my mum's mum. When, yeah. What, what an show is she? Uh, she, she's, she's the French one. French one. Yeah. Right. Um, it's my mum's mum I'm the closest to, yeah. And then in turn, you got brothers and sisters? Yeah, I've got one. Uh, oh, well, I have a, a sister and a brother that, on my dad's side. Um, Stepbrother. Oh, no, half-brother, yeah, half-sister. Yeah, half-brother, half-sister yeah. on my dad's side. And um, they live in Queensland. And I'm not, like, I've spent maybe two months of my life with them. Um, but I have a brother here. I'm very close to, yeah. On your mum's side? Yeah, my mum's side. He's, he's my younger brother. Do you feel a, a sense of, um, uh, I don't know, uh, responsibility towards him? Not really. No. No. Nah, he, really. he just runs his own race. and you yeah, don't He does say, his own thing. You he's, know, he's, mate, come here. No, no, nah, nah, not at all. Um, he's, he's completely the opposite of me. Is he? Yeah, he's like a nerdy kid, loves games, works every day. He's, yeah, he's complete opposite to me. And it, when you say works every day, you're saying you don't work every day or you do, uh, these days? Well, nowadays I've come to call what I do now, this this whole um, famous gig, as work. I accept that. Yeah. Um, because I'm out here every day working and I feel like, like I told you before this, like next month I'm flying halfway around the world working and stuff like that. And But other than that, I've never worked a day in my life. 